Hi. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this very interesting cassette that I bought way back in the 1980s. Yes, believe it or not, I purchased this tape way back in, I believe, 1984. And it's called Computron. And as you can see, it was actually made in Hong Kong. It's a 60-minute normal bias cassette. Now, not that long ago, I made a video about three packs of cheap cassettes. I used to buy them all the time back in the day. And uh, I used to love, you know, recording songs off of the radio. Most kids did back in those days. I also would put blank tapes in my uh, portable stereo. And on my portable stereo, there were two built-in microphones, one to the left and one to the right. And back at that time, my family had a floor model Zenith television. And I used to lean my portable stereo up against the speaker of the television. And it would rest in such a way that the microphone was immediately uh, even with the speaker on the TV. And when a music video came on and I wanted to record the audio portion, I could very easily do that. And it used to actually turn out really good. And I still have all those cassettes that I made back when I was 11, 12 years old. And this is one of them. So this would have been one of those three packs that I bought back in those days. And if I recall correctly, I think I found this in a bargain shop uh, in my local mall. And uh, yeah, I, I probably paid, I don't know, probably $3 or less for that three pack of tapes. And so that's side two, there's side one. And as you can see, I put some crazy little drawings and doodles on here. You can see some uh, songs from the 80s that I recorded off the radio. Girls on Film by Duran Duran, uh, Time by Culture Club, True, Spandau Ballet, yeah. So Computron, and I've seen a few other people on YouTube make videos about this unusual cassette. And a lot of people speculate because it's called Computron, does that mean that it was specifically designed to hold computer data? That is, was it intended to be used to load data onto a computer? Well, I highly doubt that. Uh, first of all, we're talking about a 60-minute blank cassette. Computer data was usually very, very short. Usually just a few seconds or, you know, less than less than 20 seconds. That's pretty much what it used to be. So I don't think a company would manufacture a 60-minute tape in order to hold computer data. I could be wrong on that, but that's my hunch. That's, that's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, I, I don't know. They probably just named it Computron because I remember at that time it was the dawn of the home computer era. Computers were very cool, very much... Uh, very much in fashion. Uh, science fiction was big. Um, anything that was futuristic or space age was very, very popular at the time. And I'm thinking that's probably the only reason why they called their company Computron. So I'm going to do a little test of this cassette and show that it's uh, basically just a standard audio cassette. I have my realistic tape recorder here. So I'm going to do a quick little test on this Computron cassette. I've got my realistic handheld tape recorder here. So I'm just going to record my voice. The tape recorder has a built-in microphone and uh, we'll see how it sounds. This is a test of the Computron 60 minute normal bias cassette that I bought way, way back in 1984. Okay, so I'll play that back and see how it sounds. This is a test of the Computron 60 minute normal bias cassette that I bought way, way back in 1984. So as you can hear, it's just basically a standard audio tape. 
I really don't think it was intended for computer data. So that's my look at this very interesting relic of the past. Thank you so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. Uh, have you ever encountered this cassette? Did you use it back in the day? Let us know. Please subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every week and I would love to have you join our family. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.